Yo guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel and in today's video we will take a look at a few bases again. I have picked out two uh, bases in which I um, used the log launcher approach because I got um, many many questions about when do we use the log launcher and how do we use the uh, log launcher. So I picked out two bases but I just wanted to say that the log launcher is used very, very rarely. Um, so that's why only two. Um, but I have two other different replays um, that we will take a look um, after that. So stay tuned. And if you are new to the channel, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe. And if you have any good ideas, um, you can also let me know the know down in the comment section below as well and um, but now have fun with the video so this one right here is the first base and the log launcher is used on most likely diamonds and box bases you very rarely use him on anti two bases or anti three bases and um, i also use it on one double invisibility um base ring base um but if you i've if i've if I will find this replay, I will also share it with you. Um, but didn't find it since a long time. All right, but now here what we want to have in a log launcher approach is as you can see, in the log launcher approach, you basically want to get like down all of this. Because if this is out uh, from the heroes, um, you can send the Royal Champion from here and after that, you can see you have this clear line right here. But to do this, there are some things that are uh, very important um, to think about. And the first um, is the town hall takedown. If you will go through the town hall with your Lalo, you need to pay attention that is actually possible. Uh, for me personally, if a sweeper is pointing towards the Lalo or towards the town hall, I don't like to go through it because the loon's just getting uh, pushed back all the time into the poison again, uh, which slows down the attack really, really hard. And um, so this is what you need to consider. So I like if the town hall is like this um, or even more on the outside. And um, if it's deeper in the in the middle, um, I wouldn't recommend you to lolo through it. The more it is in the center, uh, the harder it gets to lolo through it. The second thing is, is the saps, of course. If you will sap right, like on the outside right here, this is, there is no way to get down all of this, right? Because with the rage tower, the clone castle, it's just that much damage that your heroes probably won't get all of it. So in my case, you can see we can zap this one right here, which also is value from this, from this uh, triangle right here, mm, but also takes down like all the key defenses on the right or, or on the left side. So you can see after that, you have no key defenses on this side right here. All these are gone. And now if all the key defenses on the left are gone, um, you can just send in the log launcher through the other key defenses that are in the other way. For example, right here, it's the uh, multi inferno tower and the multi archer tower. And if you are um, pointing it um, the right way, you maybe even get this um, multi inferno tower in the back as well. Um, but that's not even uh, it's extra. It's extra value. So yeah. And what you also need, there all, always have to be good uh, funneling points. Here in this space, it is, e it is easy because you don't really have that much damage like here on the outside. Um, if there are like two singles and all that, that immediately will lock onto the king, um, your hero will not get as much value. So then I wouldn't recommend it as well. But now here on this replay, we will Go for the center zaps. And now with uh, fu uh, easy funneling, 
uh, we funnel the cane towards the top side. Um, and also very important, you can see these, these buildings are all um, buildings that are uh, uh, just six zap spells. So that's why you can save one if some ground skeleton will pop onto your hero, heroes. And now you can see you basically want the king, especially the king to walk into the center because the king in the center is just probably the best uh, hero um, right there. The queen would get taken uh, too much damage, but if the queen will walks in as well, that's even more perfect. But you basically only need the king or in my replay right here. Um, the, log uh, the log launcher is very important to not just um, open the walls, as you can see right here, um, but also he should take down or damage at least the important buildings. And now, as you can see, um, just uh, to form a, a, a clear line for the Lalo, we will send in the Royal Champion from the right side right here to get down all of the right side right here. And for those people that are maybe asking um, if that is not a perfect L shape as well. And yes, it is a good L shape, but if I will go through the town hall, I don't want uh, to start from the right side, go through all of this and just hitting the town hall like very deep in the attack. Um, I also like to start directly into the town hall. Um, so that's what that's why I didn't start the Lalo from the right. Uh, what you can do is to just start maybe a mini Lalo from here without the warden. This is this is possible as well. Um, so you can save the royal champion for the other backhand for the left side right here. You can do this as well. Um, I just did it uh, with the royal champion right here. Um, and something other which is uh, very important if you go through the town hall I don't like if the royal champion is going through the town hall um, always try to get her around the town hall either here on the top side or if it's possible on the bottom doesn't matter but she just shouldn't go through the town hall because the hawks would just all die and she will take a lot of damage and the royal champion is very important for the backhand so you definitely need her with her ability. You can see here, um, he she walks to the to the king, but if the king wouldn't be there, she wouldn't go through the town hall. But she dies now anyway. But you can see it's still um, a good overkill, I would say. But this one right here was not the only base which I took the log launcher with me. Um, so. Let's dive into the next attack. All right, so here on the next base, and this is also again a diamond base. I sadly uh, didn't find a box base which to use the um, the log launcher, but it's basically all the same um, all the time. Um, here in this replay, um, you can see again. You basically want to get again everything like this, but like I said, it depends. Um, on every different base um, and you all always want to get the most of the damage from the core taken out um, so that's why you will see me uh, actually go for the both multi archer tower and uh, the inferno tower and the rage tower because a multi archer tower is just dealing a lot more damage than than uh, an inferno tower And now we'll start again. You can see easy funneling right here on the on the bottom. And now very important to just tank for the queen for this expo. And now once he, uh, here again, the log launcher should not only open these these walls right here, but also should target the most of the building. You can see we will get out this or to, uh, make damage. And we will take or make damage on the scatter as well, maybe even on the ricochet cannon, but uh, more important on this inferno tower here on the back end. Because 
Sometimes your, hero, your heroes will not get that far um, and then it's very, very good if the log launcher can take this down all alone. And the multi inferno tower is not the building with the most HP. So that's why it's surely possible. And something which is also very good is um, if the log launcher hits the CC troops because you can see he's dealing a lot of damage sadly caught in the torna tornado trap um, but we got the walls open which is probably the most important thing and by the way i don't know how you feel but in my on my headset like the game sound is really really loud um, so if you keep want the, the gameplay the sound of the gameplay please let me know down in comments um, because for me it's just very loud, but if you want it, I can surely um, put it on again. And now here once again, very important. Um, I, I said that I wanted all of this out. The queen will get some value here on the bottom side, the scatter and the both uh, or the expo right here. Um, but you can see like the multi inferno tower. The other multi inferno tower is still standing. Um, the good thing is that, or no, not anymore, the, the builder repaired it. Um, that's why, once again, we will send in the royal champion. We will not send her in for the town hall, um, just for the same reason as I mentioned before. Um, she should go all the way here on the on the middle side, get down every every single key buildings that the heroes didn't got. Um, and you can see in the back and there is nothing left. Um, maybe this air defense with the queen, but nothing too serious. Um, that's just uh, my thinking step and now maybe something very important you can see the warden is kind of going the wrong direction to the right side and leaves the most of the loons alone and i saw this in the replay and or in the attack and what is very important if you have something like this always try to pop the royal champion ability and after that pop the warden ability uh, you will see me pop the royal champion right in a second because I saw the loons are not co get covered. I got a little bit lucky right here that uh, the aura slightly covered some loons. Um, but yeah, just maybe for a help, uh, if the if the warden is going to the royal champion um, and leaves all the loons, just pop her, pop the warden ability, and the hawks with the haste while on the royal champion is just dealing a lot of damage but you can see here this replay right right here as well is uh, very uh, much overkilled so yeah but without further ado let's head right into the next attack all right so this one right here is the next base and this is the box base but we won't use the log launcher probably the most of you had this base like right here in legends and yes, I know it's not completely maxed. Some things are pretty much rushed, like this rage tower right here. Um, but it's all the same. But in my opinion, it's just a good example to show because I feel like there are a lot of things that I can um, give with you. And as far as I remember, I think it was not the uh, biggest overkill. Um, but yeah. Right now you will see or you can see that um, I actually go, uh, don't or do not go for the best value with the zaps. You can see I go for the ricochet cannon, the multi inferno tower and the rage tower. And yes, this was um, this was in my head um, and I did see that the zap right here with this expo probably would be the better value, but we will send in the king after, after we zapped, we will send in the king right there. Um, and with, the, with this ricochet cannon is out and there is way less damage on the king than if the ricochet cannon would still stand. 
With the king ability, uh, you will get the scatter anyway. So um, in the end, it's just the um, king is taking less damage and you still get the same value. Um, so yeah. And now something very important is um, we sent in the giant with the ice golem with the king. And the reason for this is I want my queen to go right into here to get with the ability the town hall and the monolith. The monolith is very important because we will see after right in a second why I want it. And I wanted to lure the clown castle with the ice golem or the giant. Sadly, it didn't quite work and the CC is running towards my queen. Luckily, we will we'll get the town hall, but you can see we'll, we will not get the town or the monolith. Um, and the reason why I wanted the monolith out because you can see right here is a is a multi inferno tower. Right here is a single inferno tower, and so many buildings that you want to take out with this dead zone right here. It is hard for the loons to path into it. And that's why I usually send in my drill with the Royal Champion to get down the middle, like they should go in the center um, and get out all of this. While the loons should stay on the outside and get down all of this. Um, and the reason why the monolith now should be out is if I send my drill and my Royal Champion into like here, the monolith would deal a lot of damage to the drill or to the to the royal champion to the fox or whatever and the drill is also good to open the walls for the yetis that will come out if the drill is going down but if the drill is taking too much damage in the beginning um, he cannot open the walls at the back end and this will then be a little bit painful um, but now what I did is I just sent it both in onto the monolith to kind of save it a little bit. Um, luckily the baby dragon tanked. Perfect that timing with the drill. And I also get asked a lot what do you should use the rage or the haste while or the haste I'm sorry. Um, if you have something like this where you have the multi inferno tower there raged up scatter you have a lot of buildings right here in this case i would also rage just directly above the rage tower but let's say if um here is a single and here is another expo for example then you can see there is uh, absolutely no damage but you always want to pop the warden ability early and um, just because you have the heal aura and you want your loons to get on full life again and um, then I would haste so if there is if there are no key defenses that are dealing a lot of damage to my loons in those cases I, I haste and if there are many buildings that are dealing a lot of damage like these two right here and um, in such cases I rage and now immediately immediately pop the warden ability and now you already can see with this sweeper pushing everything on the outside, there are not many loons in the, on the inside. And this is why you want the drill with the uh, Royal Champion on the inside. And you can see now closing everything coming in from the backhand, from the right side. Um, so that basically um, it is tanked for the Royal Champion so she can clear the rest. Um, but yeah, you can see this one is not that much overkill like the like the last twos, but still three or three. Um, and I felt like that this base is just a good base to show you some things. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's dive right into the next base. All right, so this one right here is the last base here on only Kazuma. Um, and I feel like this base is probably a tougher one because you have three mulched up, mult, uh, raged up multi uh, inferno towers, two raged up um, multi archery towers. 
So a lot of damage, a lot of multi, uh, multi um, uh, splash damage uh, defenses and very important against Yulalo. So this core is dealing a lot of damage and of course you can zap the rage tower uh, one multi arch tower and one inferno tower but still two inferno towers left and one multi arch tower this is still a lot of damage and what i like to do on this basis is um i will send the king or of course we will first zap out these uh, three buildings um, after that, I would like to send the king into this into this eagle compartment right here to get out this cleared. And I want to send in my queen for this section right here. We'll funnel a little bit here on the outside so that my queen will beat through um, this wall right here. And if she is in this compartment right here, she can reach the other multi um, multi archer tower and if you're lucky you will get, even get this uh, multi inferno tower right there so all of very good value and with the real champion you will send send her for from a little bit more to the right side um, she should get this last inferno tower and after that you can start with the lala from the bottom right here or if the royal champion would walk um, on the top right here, you can also start from here. So you maybe need to check a little bit um, how the attack is going. So let's speed, up, speed us up a little bit. Very important here once again, just use six zap spells. If you can take everything down with six, there is no point in sending in seven. And what probably was a little bit bad in this attack was this wall break right here. If I will wall break right here, you can see um, after the king destroys this eagle, this elixir storage is actually actually closer than this expo right here. So the king unfortunately walks on the outside. I tried to hold on to the king ability for as long as possible so the queen can take down the storage. Um, but the uh, King was a little bit faster and now you can see this expo is still standing and it's dealing a lot of damage to my queen. Luckily she could save her a little bit um, but yeah and I waited with this wall break um, for that long um, because I wanted to use the king for the funnel. The king should get out these buildings so the queen will after she destroyed the expo and the bomb tower that she will go onto this wall. And now with the king clearing out these buildings on the on the top right here, um, there is no point um, in sending the Lala from the top because the pathing would just not be the best. Um, so that's why I, started, uh, I decided to start from the bottom. Um, to be honest, I wanted my royal champion to go like this right here. Um, or if, if it's possible, maybe like this and she, she should come back. But if she will go onto the top, she will go right here. Um, but maybe the queen is quicker. Um, that's why I send it her in like this. But with the Lolo destroying the buildings on the bottom, um, she will go onto the top side, even with the CC coming out. And now basically um, clean the... Uh, sent the blimp in for the town hall and now here very important you can see there is there there popped a tornado somewhere i can see her now but i dropped the blimp right as it was onto the other side of the wall because if the yetis are on the inside uh, means between the wall or the, mo the wall and the town hall um, you will get the town hall and now coming in with a mini lolo from here because I want to send in these loons to the uh, middle again to get the scatter, to get the monolith and so on. The royal champion dealt with the, with the uh, CC and now even taking down the other multi-inferno tower which is 
uh, very good. And now freezing for the queen and you can see um, this wasn't actually quite as I planned it would go through but it still is going through and with that being said I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe and now peace out.